the war in Israel leading to a rise in hate crimes here at home. All right, and that's prompting local leaders to unveil new legislation to ensure New Yorkers feel safe. Fox News' Ashley Rodriguez joining us live from the Upper West Side with details. Ashley. Yeah, so we are at the United for Israel rally. This rally already showing to be uh, very large in size. You can see all the people flowing into Central Park West behind me, and of course, a large police presence out here just to make sure that things stay safe. Now, all of these Jewish residents gathering not only to show their support for Israel, but also to encourage each other. They all say that they can see, they can feel the rise in anti Semitism, and it's very scary. It's very real for them. Now, on that same note, maybe to a lesser degree, Muslim residents here in New York City, Arab Americans also saying they too feel targeted. There's just tension everywhere, and the politicians are very aware of that. They're trying to quell the tension, calm the fears, and add an extra layer of protection for residents. Take a look. If a crime is motivated by bias or bigotry, then it's a hate crime plain and simple. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, State Senator Brad Hoyleman Siegel, and Assembly Member Grace Lee announced the Hate Crimes Modernization Act Monday. The bill would increase the list of hate crimes from 66 to 97 and enhances charges and their sentences. Harassment or violence against Jews here in Manhattan or against Muslims or Arab Americans here in Manhattan is plainly not acceptable. New York City saw a record high of 650 reported hate crimes in 2022. Comparing last October to this October, they doubled in Manhattan and citywide. Lawmakers say penal codes need to catch up. For example, hate crime law doesn't cover making graffiti and false reporting, like, say, calling in a bomb threat that has the power of disrupting rallies and worship services. The DA's Office of Hate Crimes Union expanded last year with the help of city council, sending it nearly $2 million. The funding, an asset that Senator Chuck Schumer wants for the Federal Emergency Management Agency as well. People of all different backgrounds, religious groups, are mm -hmm. feeling the heat. The senator spent Monday announcing a new $1 billion bill that would send federal dollars to FEMA's nonprofit security grant program, which helps New York and national nonprofits like churches and synagogues prepare for and mitigate against potential attacks. The persistent cascade of intolerance and even violence as the state of hate in America rises to a boiling point demands a much stronger federal response. And it demands that response because we are in a crisis. And that boiling point that he just mentioned, you can feel it out here. I mean, you can feel it almost every week now in New York City with all of these rallies. But remember, these are all just bills. These are all politicians with a plan. Nothing is the law just yet. But today, they really just wanted to send that message to the city that there is no tolerance for hate crimes. And that includes ripping up the posters of Israeli hostages, something that can be reported. So right now, we're going to stay out here as this rally just gets underway in Central Park West, and we're going to have an update for you at 6. We'll send it back to you in the studio.